Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are having issue with NDI in OBS Studio on an Apple Silicon Mac, then keep watching. I might have a solution for you. In this video, I'll be sharing how I got NDI working on OBS Studio. All right, let's have a look at my setup. I have an Apple Mac Mini M1, 16 gigabyte of RAM and 512 gigabyte of SSD. And my Mac OS operating system is Big Sure. The build version is 11.7.2, which is the latest at the time of this recording. Now, the software that you need is NDI version 5, and you can download it from this website here. I will include the link all the links in the description. You also need OBS Studio version 28.1.2, the latest at the time of this recording. Just remember to download the Mac OS uh, Silicon version, which is ARM64. Now the link directly to the download is here in the description. Copy and paste it. You will also need the NDI plugin version 5 for OBS Studio. This is uh, the file name. Well, you cannot download directly from the author website anymore. It has been removed and I have no ideas why. I have tested the software for five, six hours live streaming and it worked perfectly okay for my use. I have heard some people having issue with uh, audio. I have tested the audio recording from NDI for a short while and it was okay. No issue at all. I have uploaded the NDI plugin version 5 for OBS in this link here and I will have it in the description for you. Now this link only lasts for a certain number of days. If you know of a better website for me to upload a link so it lasts forever, let me know. Check out all the links and download the three files that require this one, this one, and this one. All right, let me show you. I have downloaded the three files on my computer. So the order that, the order installation that I recommend is install that one first, which is lib NDI now I have installed on my machine so once you install it correctly we need to check NDI uh, whether it's working on your computer or not All right. so I have installed this and let me open up NDI 
video monitor. It will be in your application. So look for NDI video monitor. Now I'm going to open NDI video monitor. This icon here. So this is NDI video monitor. All right, let me open up an NDI app camera on my iPhone. So on top here, click on NDI and click on the camera and my, um, I'm going to select my camera. So NDI is working on my Mac Mini now. Right. So just need to make sure this is working before we go to the next step. If you don't get the camera NDI showing up on here, uh, the next step might not be right. Okay. So let me quit that. So when you install this package here, NDI video monitor is available on your Mac. And also you can also check, you go into application NDI video monitor app content and frameworks or you can copy the link this location here and then you go up to the top go and then you select folder paste that in that and then click on go. Right, you can see that there's a, a file here. That's the library file for NDI. It must be in this location for NDI to work. Now, if I were to rename the file, as a test, rename it. I'm going to put my password in. Press OK. Now the file is renamed, right? If I were to open up NDI video monitor again. This is going to happen. The reason for it is because it could not find this file here. All right, so ignore that and let me rename that back. Need my password again. All right. Low up NDI video monitor again. And it's fine now, right? Let's quit that. So once you install OBS NDI5, you will need to copy 
the file that I have shown here this file here which is available in this location and copy it into this location here and you need to rename it to this let me show you my location copy see this file here this file here must be in this location for NDI version 5 to work if you see this this is NDI version 4 something let me open up OBS studio from OBS studio click on tools you will see NDI settings This is my setting here. Right, click cancel. This is my previous NDI source. Double click on it. Now you can see there is no settings available. Cannot change anything. I kept this in for demonstration purpose you will need to remove it if you don't use it and add in your new NDI source version 5 now this is my NDI version 5 comparing to NDI 4 which has nothing let me show you my iPhone NDI source This is my phone, the same iPhone that I've shown you in the NDI video monitor. And this is the NDI source. Let me double click on it and show you NDI source name, which is my phone. Let me turn on the phone and we'll have a look at the NDI source coming from my iPhone so NDI 5 is running on my OBS studio and let me show you this is version 28.1.2 And I'll show you this. So, this is my operating system on a Mac Mini M1. Let me close this one here. Quit this. So this location here is this one here. So this file here must be in this location for NDI in OBS Studio to work 
Now, if I were to rename the file, maybe just put a one there. Press enter. Now I'm going to open up OBS Studio again. you will see this message here complaining. This is because this file was renamed. This message here will also come up if the lit NDI for Mac.pkg has not been installed because the runtime for NDI cannot be found. Let's click on OK to exit. OK, we can see OBS here. Go into my iPhone and double click on the source. As you can see, nothing. This is because the file is missing. And my camera and my iPhone camera is up, but I cannot see the video on the preview window at all. Just rename this one back. Press enter. I'm going to open up OBS again. can see much happier and I can double click on it too now these two files here I don't believe it needed but it doesn't hurt to just leave it there. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in getting NDI running in OBS Studio on an Apple Silicon Mac. Take care. Catch you in the next one. Bye.